All right, all new tonight, just in time for your holiday shopping, a local toy store is getting some top honors. Channel 3's Andrew Brill is joining us live in Plainville with details on this beloved business. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Denise. Thanks. I'm here in Plainville for their 26th annual holiday tree lighting. Earlier today, I was in New Britain at Amato's Toy and Hobby Store, which is being recognized by Fatherly.com as one of the 25 top independent toy stores in the entire country. That news came as a surprise to the owner. Well, it's an amazing. I, I don't know. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know we were being considered. I don't know how that happened, who put us up for that or whatever. So, but it's very nice to hear other people, you know, appreciate what we do. Stephen explained, Amato's is not your typical toy store. They don't sell electronics, and he tries to carry mostly American-made products. He also said it's rewarding to see generations of customers who keep coming back. I bumped into Jessica, who said she's been coming to Amato's since she's little, and I asked her why. Because it's Amato's. It's, it's a tradition. It's a wonderful place, and it's, it's family, and this is just where you be. This is where you are. But it's not only the locals that shop at Amato's. Some people came from quite a distance. I had a guy the other day, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, he comes in and he says, you know, I came all the way from Baltimore to come shopping here. I says, no, you didn't. He said, well, really, he said, I have family up here, but I only agreed to come see him because I knew I could come, come here. Amato's was started as a small model airplane business by Stephen's father, Vincent, in 1940. They've been in their present location since 1974. Stephen said his employees are like family, and whether you're a first-time customer in the store or a regular, they treat everyone the same. I caught up with first-timer Gabriel who was buying some classics, he was absolutely amazed. I never expected something like this in here, but you know, when you, you come over here, you need to grab some tissues or something, because you're gonna cry, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Now, Gabriel told me he got very emotional being in the store. It's been a long time since his whole family has been together, and they plan on a surprise for his mother to get the whole family and his mother together, and they're going to play those classic games he bought the same way they played a long time ago. So that was a, a very special thing for him. Now, behind me, the annual tree lighting is about to take place. I can hear the holiday music, and... Holiday music has become a little bit of a controversy lately. I'll have more on that later. Right now, I'm Andrew Brill, live, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.